What's going on guys? I'm MC back at you with our Fire Red Nuzlocke series. This is episode two. Let's do a quick recap of everything that we did last time. So we got our starter and our starter is Mumbo the Squirtle level six after beating our rival Green. So today we're going to continue on. The Nuzlocke hasn't officially started because we have not gotten the Pokeballs as soon as we get our Pokeballs we'll be ready to go. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep going on forward to the next town. Here's Route 1. So anything we see on here does not matter because we do not have Pokeballs to catch them. It's Rattatat, level 3. Let's take it out. Go, Mumbo. And again, I'm going to try my best to do voices. If I mix them up a little bit, I apologize. I don't do a whole lot of voices. I usually just talk to myself. And if you really want me to do a voice, it's usually just call them Trump Lord of the Rings, like I said last time. So, alright, defense fell down. Let's just keep on going with tackle. I think we'll be fine. If you do not know the rules of Nuzlocke, our starter is determined by either our choice or the last number of our trainer ID that you find in the start menu. Ours happened to be 9, so we ended up with our water type Squirtle, which is And we're getting 24 experience points. Um, also with the Nuzlocke, any Pokemon that you find on, first on the route, as soon as the Nuzlocke starts, is the only Pokemon you can catch on this route. So if I had Pokeballs, that Rattata would have been the only one I could catch. And if I don't catch him, Tough Noodles, I can't catch him, I can't come back. Um, and an, an added bonus to that was we get to nickname our Pokemon, so we're going to try our best to do that. We're just going to keep battling through these Rattata until we get to the next down, and we're flying really well through the first season. but I can't even remember. It's been so long since I've done the first season, uh, first gen, sorry, of this. Fire Red was one of the first uh, Game Boy Advance games that I got next to, I think, the Harry Potter game. I can't remember which one it was. I remember, I remember what it looks like. It's blue, and it has the Harry flying on a front. I think that's Sorcerer's Stone. Um, but it's been a long time since I played a Game Boy Advance. I still have my Game Boy Advance. My brother-in-law's borrowing it. And we're at level 7. All right. Mumbo is working his way up. His defense is getting pretty high. He's 15. That's awesome. And we learned Bubbles. We got a Water-type attack to use against some Rock-types. That's awesome. I know that we're going to be facing Rock coming up soon. So I know we'll have a little bit of an advantage having a Water-type. I really appreciate that. Okay. Keep going through these rad attacks. Ratatata. I don't know how you, how do you say that. Put down below if you can tell me the proper pronunciation. There's been a lot of discussion on the uh, Wild Podcast as a peer podcast. If you have to listen to that from comicbook.com. Um, they have been talking a lot on just pronunciation of words and Pokemon names. And I know one of the biggest ones that they talk about is Suicune, one of the legendary dogs. And they say that the proper pronunciation is actually Suicide. Which I don't believe, because when I watched the Entei movie back when I was just a wee little lad, um, it was pronounced Suikun, because it was Entei, Raikou, and Suikun. Alright, Viridian City. Here we go. But yeah, put down below. So, if you have not played a Pokemon game before or ever, and you're watching this video, the red roof uh, buildings are Pokemon Centers, and the blue roofs are... Is there a blue roof? I think it's over actually this way. Yes, those are the Pokemarts. In the newer games, they are all under one roof. That's perfectly fine. I think we have to go in here to get a package for... Yep, we have to get a package for Professor Oak. Hey, you! <laughs> hey, you came from Pallet Town. Actually, that was a question. I said that wrong. See, I'm already messing up the voices. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? I received Oak's parcel from the Pokemon. I'm glad they didn't say Oak's Package because that would have been really weird. Okay, so we have this. I believe it contains the Pokedex. Actually, no, he had those sitting on his desk last time. But let's continue on down to give him this. Jumping over the ledges. But yes, if you've ever, if you've ever watched Pokemon 4 or ever seen a Pokemon uh, Let's Play or played the games before, I appreciate you tuning in. I can't remember if there's anything hidden in these. Sometimes if you go around and you hit A on these spots in certain areas of the game, you can find uh, items, but I don't think there's anything there, but that's okay. Keep on going. I'm not going to go through the grass, I just want to keep on going with the story, 
and we're gonna get through a bunch today. I'm gonna try to keep these videos at a like a certain length, like 15 minutes maybe. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll go we'll go from there. Um, I think the last video was like around 14 minutes, so that's good. All right. Oh, odd. That was my old Pokemon. Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. I'm gonna update the text to this so it's faster. What's that? You have something for me? And I delivered Oaks. Yeah, I'm gonna update the text so it's a little bit faster. Ah! It's the custom Pokeball! Okay, so that's what he wants. I had it on order. Thank you! Cramps! Green. Good old green. I almost forgot! What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you. Two. Let's see, I'm reading it so far behind. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Ah, oh, and green. Take these with you. It's so dramatic. <laughs> hey, we got a Pokedex. That's awesome. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. So, here we go. We've received our five Pokeballs to start, and the Nuzlocke begins. Odd, oh, put the Pokeballs in the Pokeball pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. I really gotta change this text. <laughs> to make a complete guide on, on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But, I am too old. I can't get the job done. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. But what if I had other dreams? What if I wanted to be a doctor or something? That's kind of selfish of you, Mr. Uh, Professor Oak. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Odd, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map for my six. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Odd. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. And he didn't say smell you later. I'm kind of disappointed in that. But I think that's a hint that we need to go see his sister. And before I actually go see his sister, I'm going to update this text a little bit. Because it is super slow. And I'm also going to uh, speed up the battle uh, scene as well. That and then can I? I don't know if we can do that. Okay, do we want to change up the frame at all? Ooh, let's go with green because it's our favorite color. I know it's a name of our uh, did that save? Okay, it's saved. We're good. Of our rival, but green is also my favorite color. I should have done leaf green, but I own fire red. So I think this is green's house. Yep, and we're gonna talk to his sister and get a town map. Gramps asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. You're telling me. Here, this will help you. And we have a town map from Daisy. I don't... Is she ever mentioned in... I don't think she's mentioned in the manga. Or... The TV show at all. I don't think so. I've watched... I've rewatched the uh, Indigo League a couple times. I own the Johto League on DVD. But I'm not sure. Okay. So actually, are we are we prep? I don't. I just walked through the grass and didn't even think. Are we prepped up? Okay, maybe we should try to walk back through <laughs> and find out. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I should have healed up. That's okay. All right, we got a Pidgey. Pidgey is our first Pokemon. Let's hopefully we can catch it. Level three male. What's a male Pidgey? We gotta think of that. Okay. So let's try to tackle and see what that does. We miss. Okay. <laughs> that was a crit. Oh, we're we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Ooh. Oh, we're in trouble. Dude, I don't have any potions or anything. Okay, let's uh, let's just throw a Pokeball. Let's see what happens. This might be the shortest Nuzlocke ever. Wow, really? Come on. 
we got the triple jiggle. We got that. Shout out to Shady Penguin who used that a lot in his Pokemon run through. So I was super worried about that. Oh. I was so worried about that. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to read about that. Let's give Pidgey a nickname. What is Pidgey's nickname? Let's see. I want to stick to Kermit name as well. Mumbo was our first one, so Kermit Craft. What could do our second in command? My second favorite probably is Green. I tend to watch all of them at some capacity. I don't know. Do we want to just do Green? I think let's do Green. So G R. So we got Grand and Mumbo in our party. Alright, welcome to the team. Let's go get healed up so we don't lose this Nuzlocke in the second episode. That would not be great. Alright. I think... Okay, that's not... Is, does he not allow us to do that? Let's go check with our mom. Maybe she'd be able to do this. Heal up. Right, so... Now, at the time of this recording, I this is I'm still in May. I don't know when this is going to release. I'm kind of backlogging episodes. Um, Odd. You should take a quick rest. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Oh, you must say that to all your kids. <laughs> um, but yes, I don't know when these episodes are necessarily going to be released. I'm hoping that they are released kind of periodically as uh, the time goes on, but I'm backlogging episodes just to kind of get going. So, we've already caught Pidgey in our first route of Lucky Green to our team, so we do not need to worry about catching this Pidgey, but we can battle him for some experience. Can't remember how much a bubble is. Okay, so we bear amount. But I think we'll just stick to tackle and stuff. And again, I'm going to try to do all my training off camera just so you guys don't have to watch that and maybe if uh this is later on down the line maybe i'll maybe i'll do some live streams of that on my twitch channel i am not 100 percent sure so let's find out let's keep on going on up but i figured if you guys are watching this you're probably watching it just for the entertainment or you're watching it to know how to play the game so i figured i want to stick as much to the storyline as possible and not kind of bore you with the grindiness of it because pokemon is a very grindy game and I enjoy that. I like grindy games. Back to Viridian City. Here we are. Let's see. Do we? I should have stopped at my PC in my room. But that's okay. We'll, we can always go back there later. So let's go to the Pokemon and see what we can buy. I think we have some money. Okay, so we have about three thousand dollars. I have Pokeballs. Let's buy some potions because we're gonna need those. Let's buy four for now. Yes. And then just in case, let's get some antidotes because we are going to be heading to the forest to be fighting some bug Pokemon. I would love to get a Beedrill. Beedrill is one of my favorites out there. And let's get a couple of Paralyzed Heals just to be sure. Um, here we go. Nope. I'm good. So the nice thing I like about Pokemon games is you can find a bunch of stuff and sell to get uh, money as well, but you can also get them from just battling and I really enjoy that part so we'll go this way later because that will be towards the Elite Four at the end of our run through if we make it that far we might actually have to go that far because I don't think this old man will let us pass well now I have had my coffee and that's what I need to get going hmm what is that red box you have ah you're working on your Pokedex then let me give you a word of advice whenever you catch a Pokemon the Pokedex automatically updates its data we don't know how to catch a Pokemon, we just caught a Pidgey. Of course we know how to catch a Pokemon. Oh, okay. So he's going to show us how to do this. So if you didn't understand how that worked with um, Pidgey before when I threw a Pokeball, you're going to see that now. I wish they would give you the option to skip this, or even in a ROM like this on an emulator. That would be great. But sadly, so he's going to show us how to catch a Weedle. Beedrill is actually... Start from here, so catching a widow would be great. But we don't get this one. This yes, yes, we caught the Pope, the widow. That's great. Thank you so much. There. Now tell me, that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. Ooh, it 
Tichi TV. I don't, I don't think I ever used this in my run through when I first played the game. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. I've been playing Pokemon since I was 10. I think I understand. I can't remember if I can get up to this. There's an item behind here. There we go. Why do they put the tree when you can just walk around? And we found a potion. Awesome. Add that to our stash. So we're going to head on up to the forest up here. We're going to battle a couple trainers on our way. Should we heal up at all? Yes, we probably should just heal up so we are good to go. But we're going to head up to the forest and we're going to try to catch a bug Pokemon. My fingers are crossed on either a Pikachu, which I think we have a 5% chance of catching one of those, and then a Weedle as well. Well, not as well, either one of the two. Um, I got very lucky at my first Nuzlocke on my own, where I went into the forest and I got caught a Pikachu. So I'm hoping that we're just as lucky with this. So let's head on up this way. Past the old man who gave us the Tichi TV, which I don't think we'll use at all. And Route 2. So we can catch another Pokemon here. Um, the forest is technically part of Route 2, I think, but it's treated as its own individual area. So I'm gonna we have a chance to get two new Pokemon to add to our team. So let's see. Here we go. We're gonna catch on Route 2. Uh, Pidgey. Okay. Well, we can have a backup just in case we lose one. What do we want to name this one? Let's take it out and tackle, which missed. Good job, on <laughs> But, I don't know, what, do we want to just name this one Lean 2? <laughs> um, we could do that. I just have to go buy some Pokemon. That might be a good piece of money. Let's see, are we going to get it? Yep. So, I don't tend to just skip over Pokemon that I've already caught. I like to catch them and have backups just in case, because sometimes that happens. And, uh, let's see. Well, yeah, let's just name this one Grand 2, because it's the same. Um, but I like having backups, because sometimes bad things happen um, in a game where you'll, a Nuzlocke, where you'll be playing through and you'll lose about three or four Pokemon in a single battle. It could be a gym leader, it could be at the Elite Four. I mean, I mean after the Elite Four, you really have to power through that or else you're kind of done. Um, but I like having some extras on hand. It's very nice and helpful. So I'm gonna just add this Pidgey to the box. And if you don't know what the box is, the box is this PC here where you can just boot it up and access someone's box. We're eventually gonna find out who made this box later on and you wanted to deposit it. So we're going to go to three and two and store him. Box one. So, you have fun there, sir. And no, we do not need to continue. And then you also have the chance to move items off of Pokemon or withdraw them. And then my own PC, can I actually can I withdraw that potion? Yes, I can. So most of the time you have a PC in your room or anything like that when you start a Pokemon game and there's always one potion in there so that's a helpful tip for anybody who does not know that. Yeah. So we got a Pidgey we can't worry about anything else. I want to try to catch one more Pokemon in this episode at least. It was a little disappointing that we didn't get something else. A Rattatat would have been great. I've done a whole Nuzlocke with a Raticate in my party because Hyper Fang is baller when it comes to that. I love it. So, there's some items over there we can't get to yet until we get the HM cut. I think it's HM01. Are there anybody in here that's giving us some items? Sometimes in these little areas, the items are really small, but don't respect the quick bite. Not yet, I have not, but I hope to catch one very soon. Viridian Forest. Here we go. So we have a 5% chance of getting a Pikachu. And we have, I think, uh, it's a lot higher for some of the other ones. I can't remember the exact math. I'm not very good at math. All right, here we go. What's going to be our Viridian Forest catch? It's going to be... It's a Weedle. So we have the chance to get a Beedrill, which is great. Level 5, male. I'm trying to think what would be a good name for a Weedle. I should have got more Pokemon. Uh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Trick shot, so our speed fell. But he's faster than us now. Probably going to be. Attack again. Okay, he's in 
the yellow. I'm gonna try to throw a Pokeball. If not, we'll try it. Three. All right. So we got Weedle. So if you did not know, Pokeballs they jiggle three times, and you end up getting uh, the Pokemon caught. If you play Pokemon Go, that is a really good uh, indicator if you caught the Pokemon or not. All right. Let's give Weedle a nickname. What do we want to name him? So we got Mumbo, and we have Rian. I'm trying to stick to Hermitcraft names. Let's think. There's Exuma that I like to watch. There's Iscal. I love watching Iscal, and actually. Exuma right now is a V in Hermitcraft Season 7, so why don't we go with Exuma? And I always have to remember this by how Rian pronounces his name. It's X I Z M N A. Exuma. And his name is Exuma Void on YouTube if you want to check him out. But that is going to be it. So we have Rian, Mumbo, and Exuma. That's awesome. So, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up today, guys. I know not a lot of exciting stuff happened, except we got our Pokedex. We got two new Pokemon added to our team, and I am so happy about that. We got a spare one in the PC, and we're moving on in our journey. So, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And always remember the most important thing is to be on, and wash your hands. Peace, guys.